And so, the Greg Roman saga continues. What's going on, everybody? Hope you guys are enjoying your day. So, Greg Roman has been a topic Ravens Flock has discussed thoroughly throughout this past NFL season. We've expressed our frustrations. It's been quite the debate. And it's gotten to the point where Ravens Flock want this man gone. They're tired of his schemes. They're tired of his play calling. And they're, they feel that this man is holding the passing game and specifically holding our receivers back. They just, they want Greg Roman gone. But you know, it's one thing when the fans speak out on Greg Roman. It's another thing when the players do that. We saw two indications of that happening last season, not directly towards Greg Roman, but more towards his system. Obviously, the first one was Hollywood Brown making that tweet, how are you gonna have soldiers and not use them? We know about that situation. That was taking a shot at Greg Roman and his system. And then you had Lamar Jackson go on the Rich Eisen show and basically come out and say that um, defenses are calling out our plays at the line of scrimmage. So that's another shot at um, Greg Roman's system but that was during the season we've already thoroughly discussed that now getting into this off season you have des bryant share several videos of him and lamar jackson working together in practices and they were running plays that we never got to see in the game i mean they were throwing fades there and we never got to see any fades with des bryant once and from what we were seeing they had good chemistry in the practice and it looked like a play that could have worked, but we never utilized it. And it was one of the frustrations that Des Bryant himself kind of talked about. In fact, he spoke on that today, too. He was on Twitter as well, as this other person we're about to get into. And he was kind of just speaking on him and Lamar's chemistry was, you know, was going well. But, you know, he kind of came in late and it just seemed like it was going to be difficult for him to be able to really find a spot in this offense. So they never really utilized him or gave him the opportunity he that they probably should have, but you know, it is what it is. But yeah, so you have two receivers come out and speak on it. And of course your quarterback says a comment as well. But now we can add another person to that list. In comes Willie Sneed. Today on Twitter, he gives his own take on the whole receiving situation. In which he comes out and says, any wide receiver can be a number one receiver if they are put in a system that gives them the opportunity to be a number one. That is basically the opposite of what we're seeing with Greg Roman's system. And you know, him saying that, he's not necessarily wrong. He actually went on to later discuss that too on Twitter, talking about if you gave like a receiver a hundred plus, you know, targets, and gave them opportunity in a system that works for them, they can definitely be a number one system. If you at least give them the opportunity to show what they can do as a receiver and you give them targets, they can definitely show you what they can do. But it all depends on the system they're playing with, which is another thing Des Bryant also brought up as well. You know, the system in Baltimore just didn't seem to fit him. It's always about this system. And what system are we talking about? Greg Roman's system. So two receivers already come, I mean, two, three receivers come out and talk about Greg Roman's system at three different times. So that kind of speaks volume. And you know what? This is something we've also discussed ourselves, like Greg Roman's system in general and how the receiver's kind of feeling it. And most importantly, trying to thrive in Greg Roman's system. Because we're always talking about, oh, let's go out and get a better receiver. Let's go out and get a better receiver. Let's go out and get a Robinson. Let's go out and get a Galladay. Let's go out and get these guys. But we're forgetting we still have young talent on this team. Duvernay and Prochet are still here. They are talented individuals. However, we don't get to really see what they can do because of the system they're playing in. Greg Roman's system limits these receivers from really getting to show off their potential. And that's been a big problem. That's why you didn't see anything from Duvernay. And that's why Prochet barely got to see the field. Or you could take that plus the fact that there was no OTA or many. Yeah, 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 there were reasons, but like still. And it's just the tough part. So honestly, I don't really know how the Ravens would react to the situation or what they would specifically say or do regarding the situation. Like how would John Harbaugh, how does he react to the situation? Because you've had multiple players come out 
and kind of speak out or take some, they not even take a shot, but just kind of call out Greg Roman's system. Yet, this is the guy you want to continue to keep moving forward? I don't know. I don't know. It, it just seems like the Ravens, they, they like what they're getting from Greg Roman and they want to keep him. Despite what the fans are saying, and despite what the players are kind of preaching out here, especially the receiving core, it seems like they're cool with sticking with Greg Roman. But yeah, this is definitely interesting. So like, I'm, I can't wait to see what they plan to do moving forward in terms of addressing this. Because again, when Hollywood Brown came out and said that during the season, they, they had to do what they could to die that down. But it was only one player. Then Lamar comes out and kind of says the defenses are calling out our plays, which, you know, for a quarterback to be saying that, you don't, about your system, that, that speaks volumes. If the quarterback is saying that, hey, your plays is being called out by the defense before we even get to run them, that's, that's not a good thing. And then you have another receiver who played in this system coming out with evidence of plays that you didn't even run in the game and you know, also talking about how he never got to really fit in the system or get the opportunity he was looking for, that's also kind of bad. And now you get yet another receiver coming out and talking about you, any receiver can be a number one receiver if he gets the opportunity or gets put into a system that allows him the opportunity to be a number one receiver. That, that kind of speaks volumes, man. You got multiple people coming out here, speaking out and kind of calling out Greg Roman's system. And the interesting part is, I believe Willie Sneed's also a free agent. So I wouldn't be surprised if Willie Sneed decides not to come back. Would you? I mean, I, I, I don't know. I still kind of hope he comes back. But I'm just saying, like, he's a free agent, if I believe. Yeah, yeah I believe he's a free agent. So if he wants to go somewhere else, he can definitely do so. And the fact that he's willing to talk about this now, it might mean that the Ravens are kind of heading towards the direction of moving on from Willie Sneed. Or Willie Sneed himself is thinking of just leaving and going to another team that may give him a better opportunity to, you know, be that number one receiver or just get more targets or something. I don't know. But this Greg Roman system, man, it's, it's been driving our receivers crazy. And the fact that he's still here... It just speaks on what the Ravens want to continue to do. They like Greg Roman or John Harbaugh just likes his guys and he's not willing to just fire them. Now, if they get taken, they get taken. That's just how it is. But he, John Harbaugh really doesn't fire people that he likes. So, I don't know. I don't know what this is going to mean. But the fact that you have several players, specifically receivers, come out and take a shot or call out your offensive scheme that speaks volumes. Especially because Hollywood, less so Des Bryant because he came in during the middle of the season and, you know, kind of just like he signed during the middle of the season and had to work his way up to eventually get to play. So him, he doesn't necessarily, he, he, obviously what he says definitely does matter and it leaves an impact, but it's not nearly as impactful as hearing this from Willie Sneed and Hollywood Brown, who both are big parts of this offense. For them to come out, and say what they've said and, you know, call out this system. I don't know. That speaks volumes. That definitely speaks volumes. So what do the Ravens kind of do with this situation? I don't know if Willie Steed's going to be back. He's a free agent. Hollywood Brown is definitely going to be here. And he doesn't seem to be happy at all. Funny enough, Hollywood Brown saw that comment by Willie Steed and completely agree with it. Not only did he tweet that, he was also like straight up facts with that. So again... <laughs> These receivers are in agreement when they're calling out Greg Roman's system. John Harbaugh, are you seeing this? Are the Costca, are you seeing this? I don't know if Greg Roman is the guy you want to have moving forward as your offensive coordinator, especially if these receivers are calling him out. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? I don't know. I don't know. But yeah, um, it's the saga to continues. I'm just waiting for the next receiver to come out. I, I don't know. Maybe we might hear something. Who, who knows, man? Boykin may come out and say something too. I don't know. At this point, I'm just expecting the entire receiving core to just come out and say what they got to say. Because at this point, I don't know. The fans have been completely frustrated and they're tired of Greg Roman's system. And now 
players are starting to come out and talk about the system and take shots and call out, you know, the whole scheme that Greg Roman loves to run. So what do you do if you're the Ravens? Do you continue moving forward with these disgruntled receivers? Do you continue with Greg Roman? I don't, I don't know what you do. I don't know what you do. But one thing for sure is that uh, things are heating up with this Greg Roman situation. And I'm interested to see where this goes moving forward. Ravens might have to make a decision. But anyway, I don't know, man. Figure it out, Ravens. But with that being said, that's really all I got for this. I'm. We're going to continue to see how this goes moving forward. I'll be awaiting Boykin's response because trust me, I'm just thinking the next person that's going to speak out about this scheme because the Ravens flock is going to ask him is Miles Boykin. And he might speak out on this or, you know, say something that may look like it's another shot at Greg Roman's system. And at that point, we'll just see what they do moving forward. But yeah, with that being said, that is all I've got. And I'm out of here, man. Peace.